Hey, what's up, people? How are you doing? I'm glad to be back on your screens today. First and foremost, apologies for yesterday. It was a bit crazy, but um, truth be told, uh, not a fault on our end. Our ISP had a problem, so we all went off. But we promised to come back bigger and better, like we always do at OINC. Welcome to OINC Live. My name is Adaro Mwango Ochola. Remember to roll the R always. And with me is a beautiful, beautiful guest who you've all been looking, looking for, searching her pages and everything. Um, I'll get to that. Uh, her name is Rosie. She'll introduce herself shortly. So yes, please remember to follow us on our pages at Oink on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. Karibuni sana to the guys who are watching us from everywhere. Nairobi, I see you, my people. Wanyore, I know you're watching. So let's keep it locked and let's just keep this conversation going. So today we're going to talk about something that's uh, a bit um, sensitive, actually something that people avoid to talk about uh, and rather and would rather be seen behind the scenes. Yeah. So this is adult entertainment. Yes. If you are not aware, there's adult entertainment in Kenya. Um, and just a disclaimer, <laughs> we're not going to have a live show here. Sorry to bust your bubble, but if you want to know more about uh, the adult entertainment, you can follow our guest page. She'll, she'll guide you and lead you. So, yes, it's a taboo, like according to Africa, African culture, basically, um, adult entertainment is not deemed as something, right? It's it's evil. It's, it's demonic. It's against the norms. Um, it's something that should only happen in the Western world. So there are so many negative connotations that come with the job. People seem to be allergic to discussing it. Additionally, the adult entertainers at the forefront of this entire ensemble are often brutally critiqued, no matter how successful they are, and no matter what their reason for working at such a demanding job. So straight to the point, Karibu Sana Rosie, looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Today. Yes, so yes. yes. Uh, sorry about yesterday. We're happy to see you and have you here. Um, and maybe you can start by introducing yourself so that uh, guys know something about you. Just tell us who is Rosie and um, yeah, your background, your upbringing. Okay, uh, I'm actually Rosie. Rosie has actually been my official name. I'm a young business woman. Uh, uh -huh. I, think, uh, I just like um, having fun in this life. I'm just uh -huh. a young business woman. Just came up with a great idea in my set that I can make my own way and be Rosie. This is Rosie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, like, uh, in your family, how many? Um, like how many kids are you? Uh, how many? Like, your, tell us about your parents a bit about your parents and your siblings if you have any. Uh, okay, uh, I'm a second born at my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I was mm -hmm. brought up in post, I was born in post, brought up in post, but unfortunately, like, my dad passed in like eight years back, so mm -hmm. my life is very good. It's okay. Mm -hmm. so uh, uh, my life was all through like full of fun with my parents, with my both parents. But since yeah. my dad passed, like uh, he passed due to cancer. Uh, Sorry about that. that. We moved to Nairobi, so mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, I have two brothers so far, like two brothers that, that I know okay. <laughs> from that one mother. Yeah, from, from one, one <laughs> How would okay. I? My dad had someone else. <laughs> Maybe there was someone else that you don't know about. Of okay, course. Rosie. Um, so what's your day to day? Can you describe your profession? Like, um, are you are you I, I don't want to I want to, I don't want to give it the name, you're the one who knows um exotic dancer, stripper. What uh, exactly are you what exactly is your profession? Uh okay, today my profession is uh, an exotic dancer and a porn star, an upcoming poster in Kenya. Porn star, mark that real, it is real. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that, being a porn yes, star. I'm having tea. Uh -huh. okay. And so, mm -hmm. 
And then to that to my career, like uh, I got to do a lot of exercise to maintain my my body. As you can see, I'm well maintained. Can you see me? Can you confirm? Yes, both. Yes, I see something popping over there. Um, it's like oh. your chair is I get it. I guess oh. it's your behind. Oh. <laughs> um, my, it's hot. Us. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh -huh. Uh, being an exotic dancer, uh, people don't get the meaning of uh, being an exotic dancer. I'm a stripper. Mm -hmm. I think the best word to use to people is stripper, because they can Google stripper. and get the of being a stripper. Yeah. So okay. I got to maintain my body. I got to do a lot of exercise for my body. Practice new uh -huh. dance. Then, uh, mm -hmm. style, being a constant, uh, like being a stripper, you have mm -hmm. to. Get as well, but you can seduce a man, a, a lady, you know. So oh, a lady, not only men, like oh, okay. So you yeah, seduce both. Not only men. Most of most of my guys are women, more than men oh. actually. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> okay. So oh, yeah. uh, can you tell us about your services? Like, okay, first, how did you end up choosing this career? You said. Yeah, you had something about your background and what yeah. led you to this. Your dad passed on, so you've told us that. And yeah. uh, I was surprised. I won't lie. I was surprised that your mom is your number one fan. Like, uh, like I said, yeah. I said my, mom, my mom would pour holy water on me and scrub me till I become a Beyonce's color and clean yeah. all my things. <laughs> so, like, for me, honestly, it's shocking. Um your mom is your number one fan yeah she is in fact right now she's watching too much for you love oh, mom i love you so much <laughs> love you mama if you're watching me i love you so much so how did it how did you even start involving your mom and telling her that you want to be a, a an adult and was it only stripper and and, and now she knows you're doing porn yeah she knows Mm -hmm. So, uh, how was okay. her reaction? At first, she was like, "Oh my, really? That is what you want, my baby girl?" And I was like, "Yeah, that is what I want, mom. I know what I want in this life. I know what I'm looking forward for." So my mom was yeah. like, "If you're happy, then go for it, because your happiness is what matters to me. Nothing else matters mm. to her. Just my happiness." So she she she's okay. Being a ponster, um, mm -hmm. what people are not getting. Before I go on, I just want to send a shout out to the guys who've checked in. Henry, I see you. D man, what up, what up, Malaika, thank you. Uh Magnus MG, thank you. Uh Fagio says, uh, nice boobs. <laughs> she says nice boobs. Subkenyam T food, thank you. Uh, you say it's not a taboo, and it's because people just don't want to talk about it. Yes, and I was looking for you. Obara Santi, uh, Cliff, yes, I was not ready for the answers. Nate, thank you, yes, much better than yesterday. Today you're seeing everything, yes, thank you for <laughs> dressing up. Yes, it's a bit hot here, let me have a sip of tea. So, mm. okay, and then you said, and then you said, you said your mom takes you to shows, she actually takes you to the show, like. Um, where, where where do you do your shows? Uh, I actually do like uh, club appearance, and at times, most of the time, being a stripper, I started it at Lidl's, club Lidl's. Most people uh -huh. don't know Lidl's for strippers. So I know. People do. Even <laughs> 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 and, yeah. Someone sent me a picture. Uh -huh. Just a picture. <laughs> It'll be there. <laughs> 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 uh <-huh. laughs> so, so uh, how you uh oh, most of my shows i used to host shows at Lido's as uh being a stripper so my mm -hmm. mom is always like she's not those mama from Ushago, she's from town yeah so mm -hmm. she has years of life and in fact my mom is so beautiful very beautiful that i do as well uh -huh. as my mama is very beautiful uh-huh uh-huh just join me on the shows, have fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's not that mental. In fact, she understands that the life that I've gone through is yeah. too hard for me. So what she's looking for in me is happiness. 
The rest, okay. it's not her cup of tea. Okay, so I'm going to ask some questions from yesterday. There were people who came um, uh, on the live, but unfortunately we went off. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I see more people coming in. Um, Georgina Gaka is here and she asked, and Karibu Sana again, George, she asked, you're an actor, artist, why can't you have a manager? Why can't I? Sorry for that. Do you have a manager? Do you have a manager? Of course, I have a manager, but I can't mention his name. Okay. Um, yeah. And so you have the answer, Juna. She has a manager. And then um, when you go for these shows, does it pay off? Does it pay well? Sorry. Yes, it does. Uh, for club appearance, I do it like 35K or just like... Wow. My appearance on stage on stripping, just on stripping. 35k, yeah, 30 minutes, and exclusive of my accommodation, my drinks, and my transport. Oh, okay. Hey, okay, 35 G's, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, that's, so that's for 30 minutes appearance on your club and just to strip. Okay, so you can. On the same night, you can have two appearances. Like you can go, for example, to Lido's, and then you can go to um, Club Millionaires, and that's seventy Gs. Exactly. And apart from dance, does it get deeper than that? Like um, when you dance, mm -hmm. do can someone else come and ask for a special dance? And what does that entail? I've never really uh, understood. Okay, like if I'm doing club appearance, I'm doing just purposely mm -hmm. for club appearance. I'm not there. Yeah. I'm just I'm not there for another extra service. I'm just there for club appearance. For an extra service, guys can mm -hmm. always hit me up on my inbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just hit me up on my WhatsApp. They can even get okay. my number. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show yeah. your number uh, over there. Yeah. But actually when I'm doing my club appearance, it's purposely meant for my club appearance. Okay. So no business. Exactly. Okay, and then uh, Magnus asks you, do you have a rate card? Of course, yeah. Oh, you okay. have a rate card. So there you have your answers. Sub Kenya Mtifi, I was looking for you. Yes, you say, Rosie, would you act BDSM pawn? Mm. Uh, BDSM is not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. I just want to be Rosie as Rosie as my own brand, Rosie as the yeah. brand, Rosie as the street. <laughs> the BSM is not my thing. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And Maureen Karibu, she says I'm calculating that 35K. By the way, I'm calculating. Can I just be carrying your coffee? Can I just carry your, your, your oh, clothes? Thank you, the, the I venue? It. Oh. The, no, I just. Can't. I want I want to be your PA. I just have to take you to the venue. I wait for you to perform. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So and and what do your brothers think about uh, considering uh, boys are normally so protective uh, mm -hmm. about their sibling, like especially sisters? What do your brothers feel? How? What about what's their age bracket? What What do they feel about what you're doing? Uh, my first born is uh, our first born is actually at around um I'm I'm 23 years old. My first born is just 23 years old. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, my last born, our last born is actually around 12 years old. So uh -huh. okay, I think in this like what you are looking for is love, and actually me have gotten love from my family. I can say no okay. to that. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. So their love on me is too much. They they are not ashamed to say that I have a sister who is a stripper, especially the last born. I stay with the last born. So the last born yeah. is always like, you know what? That's my sister's yeah. place. This, yeah. she's a stripper. And he doesn't give a fuck. He understands that that is like a normal life to him. And oh, it's normal. Sorted through my income, so it's always like to him it's normal. And even my brother, the big bro, is always like to my sister. It's normal. That's her nature. 
He's never ashamed of me. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> I'm looking for some me. Is he watching? Did you tell them to to come and join us? In fact, my brother is watching me through. Too much love for you, bro. I love you so much. <laughs> okay. So there's uh, Nyasuba, I see you. Uh, yes, you asked some questions yesterday. So I'm trying to mix the questions I have for you, Rosie, and uh, yes, for okay. the people who are watching. Mm -hmm. And um, OK, Nyasuba asked, uh, how does it work with people who insist on going with, uh, we are assuming your special services, you yeah. will be honest. Uh, let, let me sip some tea before I, I, <laughs> I ask a <that> question. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> My black tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, hmm. mm. Are you scared of getting <laughs> diseases, uh, infections? Um, are you scared of that? What do you do to take care of yourself? Do you get people who, uh, okay, you, you clarified that this is not prostitution, right? Yeah. According to you, this is not prostitution. Someone else might think otherwise. So, um, mm -hmm. Do you, and guys, I see your questions coming in, so I'm going to ask. Let me just uh, go slowly. Okay, so do you, are you scared of STDs? Are you worried of catching an STD, STI? Do you get people who call you and tell you, can we have unprotected, have an unprotected show and I pay you more? Of course I do. Of course I do. Uh, uh, one thing about me is that I know what I'm looking for. That's the point. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm looking for. So uh -huh. if if someone wants a protected sex with me, I'm always be like, can you can you make it to my price? And mm -hmm. of course I can't do unprotected sex with you without a, a, a HIV test kit. I got with, with uh -huh. me several. I can't go with, with such a job with you and I don't have such. I had to confirm why risk. And yet I have a future. Why? I can't risk. And okay. if you tell me, nigga, you better just make me feel worthy. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Uh, are you in a relationship, Rosie? And yeah, still, uh, my drink is stronger than this tea. This is just, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, <laughs> karibu sana, Tila, wahinya karibu. Uh, are you in a relationship, Rosie? Or do you um, date? I do date, of course. My right now, my my guy is travel. Uh, he's mm -hmm. on lockdown, so he can't back. He can't come back to Kenya. There are some. I realize that there are so many gentlemen outside there that mm -hmm. they love crazy, crazy mm -hmm. ladies. They want the mm -hmm. crazy ladies, ladies who, mm -hmm. who who don't hide themselves from what they do. So my guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Dubai right now. He's just on a lockdown. May I ask, is he black or white? <laughs> of course, yes, he's black. <laughs> oh, he's black. He's Kenyan. Yeah, he's Kenyan. He's very okay with what with what the industry that you are in. He's very much okay. In fact, most of my pawns have acted with my guy. <laughs> oh, okay. And the ones that you don't act with him, um, does he get jealous? Does he, I mean, isn't that being unfaithful if you're not acting with him? Like, what do you call that? How, how do you guys? Because <laughs> I'm thinking when you're stripping everyone, you're seeing your body, maybe some people want to touch. He's okay with it? He's very much okay with it because he understands me much better than anyone else does. Okay. Uh, Gashari? Can I mm -hmm. add the best part of it, yeah? He always mm -hmm. gives advices on what to do and what not to do. Damn. Okay. okay. Are you planning to get married? <laughs> of course, yeah. And you'll continue? Of course, yeah, till I make it. Hey, okay. Someone is even asking for you to give your uh, your number. So that oh. we can send you a pizza to buy a drink. <laughs> oh, I, I won't mind at all. I won't mind. Can I give him my number? Mm. Yeah, just read out your number. Then we'll keep on repeating it. You'll keep on repeating your number. Someone wants to buy your drink. So you guys send out whatever you're sending. Don't be shy. Uh, 
yeah, I know many of you are even in her inbox, but yeah, in her DM. Give out her number as I uh, give out your number, Rosie, as I look at more comments. Okay, my number is zero seven. Okay, let me start because not everyone is a Kenyan. It is plus five four seven zero two one nine eight five oh nine. That was this number. Anytime, any you can get me a glass of wine or a bottle of wine. Cheers. Okay, and then uh I have a few questions. Uh, Nganga Mwangi says it's a taboo. Do you think it's a taboo, Rosie? Like in African settings, do you think it's a taboo? Do you think it's wrong? What do you What do you have to tell the people who feel like what you're doing is totally wrong? It's absurd. It's immoral. Um, they don't want you near you. Like now you have relatives. I'm sure some of them don't want any association with you. What do you What message do you have for such people? Uh, to me, I think it is not a taboo. Things have changed. We are not living the traditional way. We are living the current way, the current generation. I'm not living mm -hmm. the old ways. So I'm living the current ways. To me, it's mm -hmm. totally not a taboo. And things, these things are everywhere. We can't escape mm -hmm. them. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So to me, it is not a taboo. Okay. Uh, so she's given her impressor number. She says it's not a taboo. Geoffrey Sirumba Karibu asks, where do, uh, where do you ply your trade? Are she asking for Eric? <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> where is the best place to find you? In your house, at the club, or you deal with people in the DM? Uh, the best way to find me, I think it is my social media. Like, I, I can't talk about where I live or blah 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 blah. I can't talk too much on where I live, what I oh, like. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best thing is on my DM on my WhatsApp. You got my number. My number is still mm -hmm. last two five four seven oh two oh nine eight five oh nine. That my number. Just on WhatsApp. Everywhere. Okay. okay. So, so I'll go back to a question you answered, Rosie. You said you, you shoot your videos or your porn videos yeah. uh, with, with only your boyfriend. Uh, not only with my boyfriend, but with other porn stars. And it's on, wh where do people get these videos? Uh, they can get them on my only fans at Rosie's my name. Rosie's my name is like, okay, uh, okay, let me spell out my, the word Rosie's my name. R O Z E I Z M Y N A N A. That the name to use on. Or if not so, you can get on my Instagram page on the bio. I have the link to my OnlyFans directly. As you can see, right now I'm using my username on Instagram on the link mm -hmm. below. So, Katapu okay. is my name on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like I see you say, yeah, yeah, the host needs to be tipped. You guys, my number is 0722 <laughs> You can tip me. Uh, Kevin, she's answered your question. Karibu Sana, you asked, you said, you asked, do you think you will get married? She has said yes. Uh, Shem Kamoja asked, how long are you willing to do what you do? Because you will get old in the near future. And then you're going to be... Guka Manyanga, Shosha Manyanga, Ama, what, 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 what will happen when that time comes? I, say, I think I'm very young and I can not predict about the future. So I'm going okay. to do this as okay. long until, as I want to, till I get And are you, do you get, do you get, do you get, do you use that, uh, the money you get? Are you, uh, are you investing? Sorry. Ignore the people who are ringing the bell. I've locked them out. Sorry, and I have a Chinese uh, bell. You know, everything here is made in China. So, uh, do you do you invest with the money you get? Of course, yeah. I, I, as I said earlier before, my dad passed due to cancer. Um, mm. The breadwinner at my family. So, I invest a lot on my family. And I yeah. up with my own business it's it's only that i'm not an open person i don't like my business being on air because they're not ever on my name they're under my mom okay. yeah and do your do your your relatives um like shun you because of your industry do they 
do they do they shun your family do they shun your mom do they what say they don't want to be associated with you guys uh i think uh where my mom come from since my dad passed my dad's family doesn't bother what i do or what i eat or not what i do they really oh, don't so they're... yeah they're not uh, they're no longer not part of my life so the only mm. fa- family i can count on is my mom's family and in my mom's family people are not judgmental as long as you're doing good financially yeah you live your best life no one cares yeah. about you yeah Okay, uh sub Kenya Mtifu ask do you have a limit on uh who can act the age the age you can act with the Okay, I think he's asking what's the age limit or what what age can get someone get into the the porn industry uh and what areas of porn do you want to explore uh for those he bet he looks like he understands this uh FYI my fans out there sub Kenya Mtifu is also in the BDSM industry uh we were supposed to get him online but uh Unfortunately, we didn't get that on time. Um so yes, uh, at what's the age limit, uh Rosie? Of course, yeah, you have to be beyond 18 years. How can Okay. You, under age. Okay. You for the large. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sam Njogo Karibu. Uh-huh. Okay. Jay Karibu. Large. Yeah. Naona. Sim. Yes, Jay said Jay Okelo Jay Okelo karibu sana and she said yes. Uh, I think in a comment you gave the other time on a comment you made where you say someone has to make you feel worthy. Uh we yeah. had asked you a question about that and she agrees with that. And then <laughs> Nate yes, this is tea mixed with uh, mogoka. Dora Otenyo kabis karibu Jemima karibu. Uh Anwar asks if you still work at Lidos. Hey Anwar, where when you member at Lidos? <laughs> customer, your, one of your customers is asking Do you still work at Lidos? Um uh I don't still work at Lidos. I started my own brand at Rose. I'm no longer working with Lidos. I'm now working with Rose Experience, not Lidos. Yee. Hey, so Ahiba, umepanda bei? Umepanda bei. Baba club. They shouldn't be expecting Rose's club. Oh, yeah. so you're going to open a club? Of course that my dream there's a, there's another dream that I have to achieve on my own strip club that Rosie's experience damn and let me ask you how many uh, do you think like this industry there are people hiding behind it like some uh, give a rough number of how many uh, let's say men and women are in the industry uh, in terms of is it still something that um foreign to people or do you know many people who are in it like your friends uh-huh. there are many people who are in the, this industry in Kenya it, there are so many people it, the only thing is that they don't want to come out like I do but the the, mm-hmm. the part is you have you got to accept the way life it is and whom you okay. are yeah yeah you okay if you make it in life you better accept whom you are they're not born perfect and you yeah. can't be lawyers or doctors they need it oh hey oh sorry <laughs> now <laughs> but ade thank you baba gabriel ade thank you for sharing the stream uh ade ask her to share her best and worst experiences uh what are your worst experiences what has been your worst experience and that's a question i just really put down to ask you like have you What has been your worst experience when you when you at work? Let me see. Any job? What's your worst? The worst that has happened? Of course, any job come any other. So my worst experience is when ume ume hook up with a client and the client just wanna go physically on you, but he doesn't really want to pay you. And okay. that that always has been my worst experience, whereby a client. Just ask for your Rosy experience, and then he doesn't want to pay you totally. That has been my worst. So you've never been a victim of abuse, like someone hitting you or treating you like like you know after your services, um, treating you like trash, hitting you. No, I've never right. experienced. Because one thing, 
when uh let's say when uh with the best word a client use i can't use the word client i use them like gentlemen and ladies so when they holler you and you come through i behave like i'm here for my job i'm not here for any other business i'm here for my job for my own money so mm -hmm. why why build me up i'm just yeah. like a human being who is looking for her own money so I'm okay. always, oh no the, the problem i actually experience is people don't don't want to pay you and i'm like what the fuck nigga pay me this is my yeah. money. this is my business like any other person okay <laughs> okay uh net yeah tell nyasuba to buy a drink trisha wamboi says i know this lady personally and their heart doesn't match career she's the sweetest and the most hardworking person I know, I support her as my friend. That's oh, Trisha yeah. Wamboy. Trisha, I love you. Trisha, mwah. I know Trisha, she's my friend. Mwah. I love her too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and like you can see she's supporting your hustle. Martin Ski Balim Teule says, tell Rosie I say hi, tell her it's her number one fan. Oh my goodness, I love you. Mwah, mwah. Yes, Helena, Helena Lodge is uh, in shock. She's my relative. I think that's how <laughs> that's how we were raised. Yolanda uh, asks you, what, what did you want to be when you grew up? As in, because what we are getting is like, it's a situation that has made you do what you're doing. What did you, when you're a young girl and you are playing Kalongo outside, it seems you you it seems you played a lot of kalongo na chababa na chamama but <laughs> that's what got you there girl especially the chalongo and chamama and chababa hey, it, it used to be my best game so uh, when i was in uh, well when i was in high school back in gateway i know most of mm -hmm. my friends even the headmistress, the, the deputy mistress are following me on my social media. They have been my Who? best. Gateway girls. I'm from Gateway girls. I'm a product of Gateway girls. The Gateway uh -huh. are, they are following me up. Yeah? Okay. So, uh -huh. um, when I used to be, uh, my dream was always being like an accountant. Okay. Of which I went for it. I pursued an mm -hmm. a diploma and a degree on SCCA at KCA University. Okay. I even okay. tried. I even tried buying for women rep in KCA University. I'm that strong. Oh yes, I am getting to see to know your character. You yeah, seem I like a strong, <laughs> strong, strong personality. Judge, yeah. welcome. And then Rosie, um, when you when you go for to work, because I call it work, let's support you and and and, and whatever you hustle. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> yes, work. Do you have to be under the influence of something to operate? Actually, I don't have to be in and any influence of anything. I don't. Yeah. Okay. And I do what I want. I want that. Okay. Car. It's just the money. The money. Give me the nice. money. So now, now that I know you, you'll be sending me a base. And I gotta shake my bam bam for you. The money and I shake my bam bam for you. Okay. Uh, and then do you get like how can you categorize your clients? Uh do is it uh okay, you said men and women. So women actually, let me say ladies, ladies are still women is a you have ladies who call you for some some yeah especially i think my clients are ladies most of them ladies single married they are single and married Woo married even okay <laughs> okay and they pay yeah. you well like the married women i'm asking for married team married as in they they what do you think they look for outside their marriage? Is it that they come and say they're lonely, they're ignored, so that the men here can hear? If you're married and you're here, listen to what Rosie has to say. If you're, you if you're married, uh, Rosie, what do you think, why do you think like married women come to look for you and for your uh, services? It is due to the life pressure, nothing much. Life pressure, or maybe they have a fetish of something, you know, or maybe they have been looking at this Rosie and they want to get a Rosie experience. Nothing much. Okay. Sawa, sawa. On to the next Judge Walker Bangi. Karibunisa, thank you for watching. 
Um, Malaika asks, what is the limit you would not do? Like, what is, what is, what is it that someone would ask you to do in your uh, line of um, work that you wouldn't do? Like you say, he or Sitafanya. I can do everything. What I can say I can't do is according to your price. I can't do accordingly to your price. Maybe your price okay. is like, your price is too low for me. Why should I do it? I can't do it. Okay, now goes so when you say you can do anything, you know, in uh, some of these things we've, we've seen uh, ladies uh, going out of the country to pursue this career, and then when they get there, it's a different story, and they find situations where they are told to indulge with doggies. Like, would you, would you do that, girl? I can't do that if your price is too okay. little. I can't do that unless your price is too high. I can do it. I don't give a fuck. I, I can do it if your price is too high. Like, how can you put on me and you are giving me like 10K? Really? I can't do that. It should be like you're giving me 50, like 100 days for me to do that. Okay, 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 uh, okay. So there you have it. She'll do anything. Uh, it depends on the price. Dedan Morris, thank you and for your support. You've been really sharing. He asks, do you ever fall in love in some situations? Uh, with a client, uh, I already said my, my boyfriend is in Dubai. He's already watching this. So oh, so we have I'm to put... Yeah. Oh, I'm you're already in love. Yeah, I'm a human... Uh, uh, like, what can I say? I'm already a human being like any other human being. I have a heart to love. Okay. I have okay. a heart. Um, so you've had it, Stephen Kakai uh, Karibu. She has answered what are the challenges kwa kazi yako. Omwenga Albert Nyakundi, I know you have a lot to, <laughs> to say. Who you ni nani? Unauliza. Slide into her DM and find out. So basically, guys, remember, we're just trying to demystify this industry. And we, because only in Kenya we talk about anything and everything. This is something that people don't like um, uh, talking about. And many people, even who are watching, yeah. So remember also the views uh, Rosie has are strictly hers. Uh, we will not say we support her, we don't support her. They are strictly her comments. We were just trying to find out like about this industry and um, people who are doing uh, what she does. Uh, Nyasuba says, go girl. Um, okay. Hey, my husband has commented. Woo! <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> I don't even think. He asks, uh, and Karibu, Wanyore are watching. Wanyore Karibuni, uh, have you thought of relocating international uh, with your services since you're doing it well? I. Abu, if you see him calling you, you tell me. He's over there commenting. <laughs> you, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to tell you his name, girl. I'll me. tell you his name when we're off camera. <laughs> he on me. He left yes. Me. So, have you thought of relocating? Mm. Have you thought of relocating? And, uh, yet, uh, um, I believe in like being on Kenya. I'm a citizen of Kenya. I love freedom. I love freedom. Why relocate and go to another country where I can get freedom? I love freedom. I don't think of relocating for now. I want to be in Kenya. Okay. So there you have it. Karanja Karibu. Thanks for watching. Yes, Abangi, I'm letting I'm letting her get it. As in I, I support, I mean. Whatever she's doing, that's her hustle. Just the way I'm trying to do my hustle. Um, then Maureen Mantinde says, yeah, ni mepiganduru, I'm jango, we scream at everything. Uh, then uh, there, Dora says, I don't know, filter on your facial expressions. Okay, I can't, I'm even lactating. Um, I stay objective. I am objective. Anthony Mshiri, karibu sana. I'm trying to get other questions that people have not asked. You've been told you're beautiful. Achenya Pacho, my number one supporter, also. Thank you. You've been told you're beautiful by uh, Acheng Paul Polo. Thank you for watching and Karibu. I'm trying to look for questions that people have not asked. Rosie, I had a question. Yes. Uh, you are in a situation where you exposed a prominent person. Uh, 
<clears throat> let me add my tea. Let me add my tea from my flask. Let me add. My tea. I, I, won't men, I won't mention the name, but you exposed this prominent person. And you went to the media. It was all over the Kenyan news. Was it last year? Actually, it was this year, but I can't confirm or say or deny anything about that. This is social media, and I accept anything from them. I can confirm. Yeah. Okay, even with the pictures that came out, we saw you in a compromising situation. That wasn't you? It was me, but I can't confirm or deny. Hey, you're a clever girl. I like you. <laughs> Maureen Matinde, thanks. Uh, Karibu, she asks, so Rosie, you would make some serious cash happen in Kenya. Have you ever gotten a booking outside of Kenya? Like, mtu anakubidia, simu anakubia, njo. Njo uku UK. Niko na mapesa, I'll pay for your flight, come. Yeah, of course. It happened several times. It is only that um, most of my gentlemen and ladies, I can't mm -hmm. uh, bring it out on my social media what I'm doing because what I do, okay. with them, it is a secret with me. Okay. Because like, okay. okay. most of them are business businessmen and business women, so I just handle everything. It is a secret to so me. So you, ha so you handle every type of client. Of course, and especially at this time of Corona, um, really going down. Oh I yeah, someone in the country. Yeah. Oh yeah. King's trendy asked, "Have you ever suffered as a result of low business?" Team Refu, thank you for watching. And King's trendy, uh, she has answered your question. Some mix I can see you've chomwa a scream there, my yo. Girl, you're serving tea here, Nini. Amniotic fluid. Where me? I'm even drinking breast milk. So <laughs> they give you some more uh, breast milk today. I think, yeah, because I, anyway, Rosie, we we thank you for for just being open about this. And before, like, we are almost winding up, but not not we're still we're still we're still here for quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. someone has asked, has COVID affected your business? She said yes. Uh, Tila has asked if it's affected your business. But yeah. see, I thought right now is when you would get uh, more clients because people are maybe, you know, people are stuck in the house together and someone wants to get away or someone is single and lonely uh, with this quarantine. You don't get more calls during COVID, like you've not gotten more business. I also love myself. I would like to have Corona. I don't know who has Corona or who has doesn't have Corona, but uh, I think I think at this time, what is speaking now is like my porn videos. It is what is picking oh. up now. Because most people are bored and they are really missing me. My clients are really missing me. My gentlemen and ladies, they are really okay. missing me. So uh, I think the business on my side is my porn videos at the same time. It's what is getting higher and higher and higher. But like me catching up with a client, oh no, I really love myself. Okay. And I have a future. Okay. okay. Good one, Rudy. Good one. Um, then, okay, the African culture, Rosie, mm -hmm. is that, you know, we are so, most of us have been brought up in church. Uh, you're made to believe that you have to live a righteous life. And um, we, there's a, the dic dictation that this is how a Christian should live. Uh, and I'm asking this question in not any way or as to say that what you're doing is wrong or uh, you shouldn't do it. I mean, remember, it's your hassle. You have your beliefs. Uh, at OINC, we also have our own beliefs individually. Do you do you believe in now God? Like, like let me ask, because that's supposed to be the determining factor of how someone righteous should live yeah. in, in, in the African culture. So do you believe in God? And uh, do you think... If people judge you that Rosie is sinning, she's a sinner because in the Bible, um, which is used to guide us and our ways of life, uh, what you, you're doing might be wrong. What, what can you say about that? Uh, I believe in God. Of course, this far is God. This far is God. Uh, I haven't been like all alone. I've been with God. Every day I have to pray like any other person out there. To get more mm -hmm. time, to get more money, to get mm -hmm. more videos, content, to get more content idea in my mind. So I always mm -hmm. pray 
God. I'm a Christian. I pray too much on God. This part is not okay. it. it is by God grace. Okay. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, for all those who have come with your rosaries, holy water, and uh, your testaments, she has answered that. Someone had also asked us. And then, Rosie, do you plan to have kids in future? Of course, yeah. I'm a woman, I have ovaries, and of course, I get my periods each and every time. Each, every month, I get my, my periods like any other woman outside here. So, so I'm, plan to have kids. I'm planning to Okay. Get my okay, so guys, uh, speaking of that, there's uh, someone we want to bring in who is actually married and in the industry and has kids. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, you thought we were about to end, we're just getting started. But uh, we bring in a lady who is in the industry. She does, she's, it's also her hustle. She's called Suzy. Karibu sana, Suzy. Uh, thank you, Adero. So, how hi. are you doing? Um, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. So, Suzy, uh, I, I guess you're the, you're, the, the, you're the strawberry on the cake now. Um, uh. I'll just brief yeah. uh, the guys who are watching. You're in this industry and you're married and you have yeah. children. Can you tell us about that? Just tell us about what you do and I'll let you just speak. So what I do actually, technically, I'm not actually like, I don't offer escort services. Unlike Rosie on my side, I just love shooting my own videos. I just love entertaining online. That's mm -hmm. what I like. So we just partnered, my husband and I, we just decided maybe we can make something. And so we started making our videos. We started uploading them on March this year. And mm -hmm. actually we have had a good progress because on Pornhub we have like 26,000 views today. So, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah. before you go on, uh, Kaya, uh, you said there's nothing like, just, uh, I'll cut you short a bit, Susie. Adero, there's nothing like yeah. African culture. Uh, sorry, that's why I said in quotes, Kaya, African culture. I'm trying to mm -hmm. um, talk about how people are deep, according to African values, even when we were growing up, we were told this is right, this is wrong, a woman should go to the kitchen, a woman should scrub the walls, a man should bring food home. So that's what I'm talking about. There's no... Um, what is it? There's no, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, Abangi, yes, please grab a drink. <laughs> it's time. Uh, go back to Suzy. So your husband, who, who, who introduced, oh. like, you guys sat down and decided we're going to do this, or you told him I want to act porn? Actually, I used to offer webcam shows, like the video calls and stuff. So mm -hmm. I decided maybe someone actually someone referred me to that. Someone told me I'm mm -hmm. actually making a lot of money on Pornhub. So maybe you can join and maybe start making your own content and start uploading it. Because actually the person who referred me is earning more than 120,000 a month. Whoa. From the video views, the video sales. Actually, mm -hmm. they, are, they were making a lot of money. So I was actually, I was intrigued and I thought... Why not? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I decided to talk to him. So we sat down. We yeah. actually we did agree immediately. We had some yeah hitches here and there. But eventually yeah. we settled on something. And mm -hmm. we decided, let's see where this goes. Yeah. Okay. Just give me one second. I want to pinch my son because he's insisting on getting into the house and <laughs> ringing this tiny bell. Just hold on. Where were I'm having a show. Stop it. What do you want? I have a show. Wait there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if someone is asking you what your name on <laughs> what name do you use on Pornhub? You can just go and to the Google search. Just type Honeybabe21 videos oui. and you'll find all my videos. Okay. And and you have children, right? I've I've gone to your profile. Yeah, I have one child. Family, you have one child. 
Yeah. Uh, what? How would you feel if they found out? I mean, are you okay if your child later on when they grow up find you on the net um, that mom and dad are doing this? Like, how how do you control that? How would you control that? That's why I told you, I actually decided on settling on blocking our faces, masking the faces, in the aspect uh -huh. that even though my son maybe goes online, maybe to watch phone or something, he won't be mm -hmm. able to identify that this is my mom. So, and I don't want my son to do something because I did it. So I okay. want my kids to actually let it be their own decision. Yeah. So I can't let them know what I do. And That's between oh, me and their dad, yeah. Okay. That, do you feel like, like, because um, you also mentioned something interesting that you only do videos with, like your videos, it's only you mm, and... Yeah, with, yeah, my husband, yeah. And my best you, friend, yeah. Your best friend? And and you're okay with that? Yeah, uh, like, <laughs> um, I'm actually bisexual. I realized I was bisexual back in high school. Oh, yeah, oh. so I've always been bisexual, yeah. And it's and, something and I talked to my husband when we met, and he was okay with it. Oh, okay. And is, is he also bi? Yeah. Don't worry, you won't go and like, if you, you don't have to answer if you don't no, want to. No, he's not. Actually, he's he's actually way, way against that. He hates it, actually. Yeah, he hates it, but he's, he's, he, he's okay with you. He's okay Kicking with ladies out. being bisexual, but he's not okay with men being bisexual. That's something that is, it's not good to him. Wow. Okay. So there are more people watching. Sheila Ogwell, Karibu, Achen. Yes, you guys, that was Akim, my son. I don't want him uh, to, <laughs> you know, like, uh, go deaf. So, <laughs> no, he's not being pinched because of that. Um I need also some uh, privacy and to focus. Lina uh, Karibu Sana. And uh, anyone else who have a, who has a question? Yes, Lina, my eyes are popping. <laughs> I'm actually feeling very hot. I've even, I think even I've reached menopause because of Susie and Rose. Uh, anyone else who has a question for... Mm -hmm. Hi, Ed Ed is asking your phone hub name again. Ooh. Pony Babe 21. There you have yeah. only babe 21. I hope you're taking notes. Uh, so, and, and do people approach you, Susie, to say like, okay, you're married, but I, will, I like your videos and I'll pay you extra. Like, so when you get, can I call them custom or castos? Do you have to, mm -hmm. to, to discuss with your hobby? Like you have to be open with each other and say, there's someone who approached me, they're offering us 100K or there's someone who approached me to go alone. You do you respect that, or how how do you handle that? Actually, I strictly don't do it. If I say I don't offer sex, I don't offer sex. Okay. Even though you you're here to offer me maybe one million, I I'm not interested. It's not what okay. I do, and that's okay. not what I want to do. I just want mm -hmm. to entertain. I just want people to watch what I do. Maybe learn from what I do. Because I'm mm -hmm. someone who actually loves exploring a lot sexually. Like Rosie said, she doesn't do BDSM. I do. I love it, actually. Can you explain what BDSM is, please? So, um, what I, 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 the last, actually, I only, it's the, the... Such, such, uh, mm -hmm. I only kumbuka LCD, like things that I did in mathematics. So BDSM, you know, what is GO, Nini? BDSM is the bondage kind of sex. The kind of sex where maybe there's whipping, there's tying up, there's the pain, yeah. They are, they are, there's someone who has to be dominant, there's someone who has to be submissive. That mm. kind of sex. It's like yeah. role play, or ish ish. Yeah, like for that's the thing, yeah. Okay, but mm -hmm. keep it yeah. okay. Okay, and what, what message do you have for, for people out there who think um yeah georgina sorry me i don't know such thing what message do you have for people who of course portray you in a certain way does your family like outside your nuclear family and the same thing i asked rosie do they know do you like your parents i'm i'm hoping and assuming they're alive if they're alive uh your relatives do they know what you're doing and is that the reason why you, you no. protect you yourself? they don't know 
they don't know and i actually i wouldn't even tell them people in my family they're so judgmental so i'll rather keep my things to myself i don't okay. i'll rather not have them judge me other than support me and yet you're going to judge me and you still need that money that i'm making from me so i just keep it to myself yeah, yeah. okay okay guys eh uh, kama hamkujua munajua there are some guys who are sending me whatsapp because they're watching it and i think they've been geared with pseudo accounts but the truth of the matter is we just brought this we thought that it's a good idea for guys to know what's going on because sue and rosie rosie will agree there are many people who are in this industry but don't want to come out do you yeah. also think like uh, do you do you also think it's because okay first uh, sue before rosie yeah. before you answer that sue are you employed no um actually i'm still studying okay so did you do yeah. that did, so you've just followed your passion you said you do it actually just, you like yeah it's something i uh, actually always wanted to do so i just decided i'm not getting yeah. any younger so why not let me do it now because my intentions i want to maybe open a studio one day i want to support other kenyan ladies who want to mm-hmm. en- enroll in the industry So I mm-hmm. want to help them actually maybe to stop hiding behind the curtains and maybe help them mm-hmm. make their dreams also come true. Oh, okay. So you would actually yeah. encourage young girls to to join the industry. Not young girls. Actually, I can't encourage someone to join. You have to join it under your own will. I can't force you okay. to join. because i actually yeah. tell people if you're interested you can come to me i'll direct you how how you're going to go about it but i can't tell someone go and do this a b c d no that's okay. their choice yeah okay uh, so you feel you're going according to your values and beliefs and you're okay with what you're doing uh you had said also you don't yeah. deem it as a thing because people seem differently remember we had that small conversation where you yeah. find it's like any other normal job. Mm. Actually okay. to me I yeah. I don't find oh. it abnormal. You can tell me okay. it's a taboo. It's not Okay. Because actually a lot of women in the United States they actually go public and they are making tons of money from those sites. But why don't mm-hmm. people in their countries judge them? But here people pretend like maybe sex is a maybe it's yet yeah, they take it like ni kama ni kitu sijui ni kama unaua mtu ama something. To me. Uh-huh. Yeah, but sex is fun. You it helps you unwind, it helps you you have fun. Actually because after every time after you have sex, ukifika hiyo orgasm, you feel good. Everything actually you feel like you someone new. So you're not supposed to take it like it's maybe maybe a sin just take it yeah. as something fun yeah okay okay yeah. so guys there you have it we are uh, getting it here real and raw if you have your last questions you can ask so you can ask Rosie but ladies we respect your hustle whatever you're doing is your decision um i don't think we're here to judge you and uh, we also just want to thank you for taking your time I'll go to Rosie Rosie any parting shot what would you like to tell people like oh uh someone has asked a question um like days karibu i also saw yeah, bangi says yeah sex is very good in fact very good very very good i toast to that toast my head yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then you're being asked can you can you work together like so if you told today you and Rosie now let's work together or Rosie told let's work with so would you guys You've never met remember I've just put you on the screen and I just said I'm bringing in yeah. someone else. You would work together? Actually I would. I admire her work, I admire her dedication, I admire how focused she is and, and I know she's someone who is actually who loves what she does. So if we work okay. together it will be something that we can go to maybe further places. I don't know. I don't know what's uh, her opinion. Rosy what what do you feel about that <laughs> she said at first she said that she's acting this with her husband will she mm-hmm. go down on her own husband 
Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <I> would, <laughs> would you sorry? would you allow pardon, her pardon the question? Would you would you allow her because you work with your husband? Would you allow her now to be the full shebang with your husband and do things with him and go down on him and such things? Yeah, I don't mind. Of course. I, she doesn't mind that at all. I don't mind at all. Come to Rosie. I need mm. I need more liner. Guy. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I hope my husband is not watching. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make it easy more. So, parting shots, Rosie. What would you like to tell people out here? Because we're about to wind up. We just have like 50, 30 seconds. What would you like to tell people out here about your industry? Uh, my industry is like any other job. My industry is everything to my life. So I don't mm -hmm. like negative energy in my life. What I love most is positive energy. I'm okay. here. I'm here mm -hmm. like a porn star. Mm -hmm. And it is high time Kenyans get to this uh, mentality that they have to support their own. They don't have to keep okay. going to social media exactly. and people who are not their own. Mm -hmm. So if they want to catch up with me on my own porn, porn videos, they can check up on my phones at uh, my only fans and my instagram whereby i usually go crazy on my instagram most of the time yeah i've seen i went blind yeah <laughs> and i'm usually live cutting up and teasing people like oh. so okay i always follow me on all my accounts i got several backup accounts so they can always follow me on my backup Okay, and someone, Mikey Days is asking, how come he doesn't see you at Excess Millionaires? Because uh, I'm not an exotic dancer at Millionaires. I do club appearance at Millionaires, not a stripper at Millionaires. They got to oh, go really? cash. They need to get oh. me cash or to get on stage. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Nate says, uh, Nate Karuki says, Leo, he doesn't care about the coffee. He's going to buy you a drink at 8.30 oh, p.m. Yes, Ned, you better get that drink. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then Kaya says, legalize it. Uh, and I'll take that to Sue. About when she's giving her parting shot, she says, it should be legalized. We should stop pretending we're a fake society. Yeah. Do you yeah. agree, Sue? Exactly. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. And with this, with this era where well, Africa, James Gondi, I see you watching. I see you following and watching. So, uh, with with like the, we won't like Africa, Kenya, HIV, uh, high rates of infection. Do you get scared of like what you're doing, your industry? Like how, even if it's legalized here, don't you think like there'll be many infections? Because even HIV is still okay. We're we're battling bigger things like cancer, but yeah. With, HIV going on and people still hiding behind the scenes because I won't even pretend yeah. I've not seen because of what people are doing during this COVID. Yeah. Do you think it would be a bad idea to legalize it in Kenya? No, actually, I don't think it will be a bad idea because mostly most people are going to open like companies, campus studio companies that actually shoot the that kind of the kind of porn videos and these kind mm. of industries people have to be tested always like mm. each and every month each and every person has to be tested for the hiv for the stds each and everything so that to keep the the other person safe there's a contract mm. you sign so you don't have to have issues unless you're mm. risking your life outside the industry maybe uh, outside the company yeah. that you're working for yeah, I can't yeah. actually. I wouldn't think that because people will definitely will take precautions. You can't okay. just go around fucking everyone without a condom. Yeah, you just okay. it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Okay, and what's your parting shot? Because we have to go. What what message do you have for people who are so, watching you? Um, they can follow me on Instagram at Samiha1016, the name that I'm using down here. 
also mm-hmm. it's also my username on only fans you can find my link on my instagram bio also mm-hmm. you can in dm me in at telegram at samiha ismail mm-hmm. and also you can watch my videos on x videos and phone hub at honey babe 21 videos okay I'll, i'll take the last three question guys because we have to go we've we already in one uh, in on one hour james gondi has a very uh, good point uh, okay if we legalize the industry it's easier to regulate and keep people safe through testing as you said because people have to be tested yeah. safer than mm-hmm. the streets i agree with yeah. you gondi mm-hmm. uh, malaika asks, do you guys do a uh, bridal shower and she gives a disclaimer no homo do you do bridal showers mhm do bridal showers yeah personally do. Okay, so you both do bridal shower. There you have it, Angel, when you're planning your bridal shower, kuna superstars apa. And uh yeah, guys, I thank you so much for walk, watching and thank you f- so much for following on. Let me be honest with uh, Rosie and Susan and the guys who are watching. This is the biggest like I mean after this topic uh, and the posters were put up, this is the biggest following and likes we've had and Rosie you'll agree your page has gone up on likes, right? Yeah. So it clearly shows that people are hiding um and and don't want to come out yeah, of what the sense. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. what they believe what I mean why why pretend mm-hmm. uh, and yeah. and this is something that like any other jobo we can talk about yeah so mm-hmm. we, uh <laughs> Dedan asks if any of you is having a show Dedan is saying Rosie are you tempted to show I don't know Rosie I don't trust her she might remove uh, she might start a- I, I can't <laughs> I got this. Man. Okay. Can Safari come take over the network? Okay. 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 Guys. I got my bamba. Bamba. I got my bamba. Can I see? You cannot see my bamba. I don't know why. Yes. Yes, they can see now. You can see that girl. Anyway, guys, want, <laughs> this me. If you want to, me. Uh, yes, that is Rosie. She says she has to work out to look oh, good. Okay, this is my bum, bum. You see, as you can see, this is my bum. I can shake it for her. Mm. Hey, okay, guys. Directors, let Rosie sit down. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, uh, the views of our guests are theirs and that we we know way we, we don't uh, disapprove or approve we are neutral ground we give a platform for where you can speak uh, facts you can speak what's going on in society and um, yeah thank you for following if you want those shows you can go to rosie's page you can go to Sue's page remember to follow us uh, at oink if you're just joining us at oink on facebook instagram and twitter rosie thank you so much for coming and uh, great to be on our show susan yeah. we thank you so much even if it was last minute uh, thank you for showing interest and just saying you want to come out and uh, break the negative notion that people have about your industry until next time guys keep it safe uh, sanitize in all aspects and we'll see you next week bigger and better thank you we love you bye my name is adara until next time bye, bye. bye. enjoy your weekend all right yeah. Oh. <laughs>